Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu indicated that the intense phase of fighting in Gaza is nearing an end, but a prolonged campaign may follow. This has involved significant civilian casualties and continued military operations. The current situation reflects ongoing developments over the past few months, with recent statements and actions occurring in late 2023. The conflict centers on Gaza, particularly the southern city of Rafah, with broader implications for Israel's northern border with Lebanon due to tension with Hezbollah. The Israeli government aims to severely degrade Hamas capabilities and maintain the freedom to conduct military operations as needed. Netanyahu's strategy includes preparing for potential conflicts on multiple fronts and ensuring security against regional threats. The Israeli military has conducted grounds offensives, airstrikes, and demolitions in Gaza, despite international opposition. The operations has involved heavy fighting, infrastructure destruction, and civilian casualties. Israeli officials discuss strategies with the U.S. for a less intensive but sustained phase of the campaign. The conflict in Gaza has seen daily strikes with no immediate prospect of a ceasefire. Netanyahu's strategy focuses on maintaining the ability to conduct military operations when necessary, even after troop withdrawals. Discussions in Washington between Israeli Defense Minister Yuav Gallant and U.S. officials have outlined a transition to a less intensive phase of the campaign, with an emphasis on strategic military and diplomatic preparations. Tensions on Israel's northern border with Lebanon have also escalated, with confrontations with Hezbollah raising concerns about a potential new conflict. Netanyahu has prioritized this front, visiting the border and observing military drills. The humanitarian situation in Gaza remains dire, with ongoing casualties and widespread destruction. Efforts toward a ceasefire have stalled, and there is no clear post-war plan. Netanyahu has suggested a future civil administration for Gaza, potentially involving regional partners like Egypt and the UAE. Hostage families in Israel have increasingly criticized Netanyahu, accusing him of hindering a ceasefire and the release of hostages held by Hamas. Demonstrations have highlighted their frustration and the broader public's concern. While the third phase of Israel's campaign in Gaza may be less intense, there is no indication that the conflict will end soon. The prospects for a ceasefire, hostage release, and reconstruction in Gaza remain uncertain. Early Briones, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.